Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. I'd like to speak for a minute or so about Oscar Micheaux, a pioneering African-American filmmaker who was born in 1884, began his work as a novelist, and when no one would make his novels into a film, he did it himself. He began with a film called The Homesteader in 1919. He made a response to D.W. Griffith's incredibly racist Birth of a Nation with, with Women Are Gates, and he continued on to make films in both the silent and the sound era up until 1948 on marginal budgets of $5,000 to $10,000, releasing the films himself, distributing them often out of the back of his car, the trunk of his car. He would travel from state to state and distribute them, um, along with another filmmaker, uh, Spencer Williams, whose films like Blood of Jesus represent an enormously important part of cinema history that's been overlooked. Uh, at that time, the dominant cinema did not represent African Americans in, in any positive light at all. And so these films of Oscar Micheaux and Spencer Williams are extremely important not only as documents of cinema history, but also in giving a voice to those who are being marginalized by the dominant cinema. So Oscar Micheaux's films are now available on DVD, and you can easily rent them. Some people criticize them for their lack of production values, but when you're making a feature film for $5,000 to $10,000, I think you certainly have to uh, cut a few breaks to the people who are working under such enormous conditions of, of adversity. Um, and his films, I think, are absolutely beautiful. So Oscar Micheaux, pioneering African-American filmmaker. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.